Bet Online is the world's most trusted source for sports betting and your number one spot for everything NFL football. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. Do you think you know your stuff? I bet you do. Get in on Bet Online's $200,000 Pick 5 contest. All you got to do, pick 5 games against the spread to win your chance at many different prizes and that $200,000 prize. Bet Online is the most trusted source for sports betting and your number one spot for everything football. Plus, when the game's over, head on over to Bet Online for that online casino, blackjack, poker, and over 150 different slots. Head to the website today, get in on the action, Bet Online, where the game starts. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Mikey Likes You podcast. I am Mikey Who Likes. You are you who is liked. What an amazing system. My Apex program that I've been working on so hard for such a long time is now available. And I'm sure if you uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever, or you listen to this podcast at all, you're probably pretty fucking tired of hearing it. But nonetheless, I did work hard on it and I want to be rewarded for that. So go buy it. Uh, available at Train Heroic. I will put a link in the show notes below. I really worked hard on it. And I'm not... That's actually not a joke. I really wanted to do something special and make something that would be useful from a training capacity for all of you. I don't care how long you've been in the iron game. I don't care if you're brand new to it. I don't care if you have athletic endeavors outside of the weight room. I don't care if you just want to work out, if you just want to look better. This is a program that's going to help you. If you apply yourself in any fashion with focus and effort, this will give you the results you're looking for. The end, okay? That being said, there has been so much argument out there regarding training, specifically. Um, I've, I've, I've divin, divin, really? That's where I'm going. I've dived, dove in to nutrition and how silly people are. Silly, fucking silly about nutrition, quite often. I usually don't get too deeply into how stupid people can be when it comes to training. And when I say stupid people can be, I don't mean you. I don't mean people. I mean people who get a paycheck for training other people are fucking stupid. And they're fucking greedy and they're shitheads. Because they sell you stuff that looks cool. Stuff that is marketable. But it's usually bullshit. And it's a waste of your time and it's a waste of your effort. And it's not going to get you what you want. And why do they make a lot of money? You know why? Because I'll give you the fucking secret right here. The whole secret to all of this. There is no secret. There's no sprint. It's not going to happen all that quickly. And you got to apply yourself to stuff that can be boring and monotonous at times. Now, I have isolated it. I've distilled it down to the boring, isolated stuff that actually means something and actually works. When you have Celebrity A or Celebrity Chick B doing their training program with their celebrity trainer on TikTok and YouTube, it doesn't look cool. Real training, meaningful training that would help them change their physique doesn't really look that, that impressive. And uh, that's why you don't see it. And that's the truth. And you want to find something where me and Mike Isertel and uh, Paul Carter and uh, Greg Doucette and Jeff Cavalier, you name it, okay? You can get fitness people to all agree on that. When it comes to people who actually know what they're talking about, they always argue about training. Here's the one thing we can all agree on. All, you get name all those guys, get, get all the chicks, all the Gabrielle lines, people out there who really know what they're talking about. Whether you agree or disagree with what they're saying, they have a career behind them when it comes to understanding exercise and exercise physiology. All of us collectively agree on one thing. Celebrity trainers are fucking stupid. I'll bring up a bunch of uh, celebrities tr being trained. I'll be like, oh, look at this dumb shit. Look at this eye-catching bullshit. It's a, it, it, their training is the equivalent of a, uh, what's, what are those uh, headlines that get people's attention on uh, social media? What are those fucking things called? Clickbait. Yes. Their training is clickbait. Now that I'm done complaining about everything, here we go. When it comes to resistance training, your whole goal is to develop mechanical tension in the areas that you want to train. When you are developing mechanical tension, when you're getting activity of the motor neurons in your quads, let's say, if you're doing some type of squat movement, 
You want to do everything you can to elicit the most mechanical tension in that area. So things that get in the way of that are going to be problematic. Oftentimes, instability or imbalance or some type of trickery, which is added on to exercises to make them look cooler or easier, is only taking away from your ability to derive some type of mechanical tension in the area you want to train. Let me give you an example. Oftentimes you will see people um, bring out physical therapy techniques, things like BOSU balls for you to do your uh, rows on, you know, because the instability helps you to balance and everything. But what it does is it takes away from your ability to, to uh, create as much force as possible in the, in the area that you are training. Now, if you're talking about creating balance, if you're talking about sports performance and certain things, figure skating, whatnot, or if you're talking about a senior citizen or someone who is injured in physical therapy that wants to develop stability, I have no problems with that, and I certainly can understand its value. If you are talking about developing a good-looking physique, anything you do that takes away from your ability to derive as much force as possible is bad. It's bad. You want to be able to create force. Peak amounts of force in the areas that you are training. That is your overall goal. That is why I have chosen the exercises that I have chosen. Let me give you an example. When it comes to growing your legs, lower body, the squat is king. The back squat is fantastic. But the overall physical fatigue, head to toe, including your cardiorespiratory system, is so extreme when you're squatting with commitment that it can take away from your ability to develop as much force as possible. I will, I'm, I, I, if I am going to do high rep squatting with a good amount of weight where I'm really pushing myself, once I get to rep 8, rep 9, rep 10, it's not my legs that are giving out on me. It's my ability to breathe. It's my ability to see straight. Now, if I were to do a leg press or something of uh, that nature, or even a leg extension, you know, isolation movements, I know people talk about the difference between compound movements and isolation movements, and I'm not here to get into arguments. But when we're talking about that, I am sitting, I am stable, I'm completely still, and I'm driving as much tension and mechanical tension into my quads as possible. Am I, hit, am I gonna say that leg extensions are better than squats? No. What I am saying is like when it, when it comes to achieving mechanical tension, that's what we're going for. That's the number one goal with weight training. Number one goal. Unless you are a competitive power lifter or weight lifter, in which case your muscles and their benefit is not your main goal. Performance is your main goal. Do not confuse the two. Okay? When we're talking about your muscles growth and looking good and harder and firmer and bigger, whatever it may be, any time you you have to focus on mechanical tension. The deadlift is a great exercise. I love the deadlifts. I do deadlifts. I love the back squat. I do the back squat. But there is so many other factors involved when it comes to doing them that it makes it hard for you to get as much mechanical tension in the areas you want to train. The deadlift, for instance, you're training pretty much everything from your Achilles tendon all the way up to the nape of your neck, the entire back of your body. If I wanted to grow a beautiful back or a beautiful set of glutes or a beautiful set of hamstrings, I would get much more out of it from doing a really good set of leg curls with a really good set of rows and a really good set of hip thrusts. That is how I constructed and chose all the exercises in the Apex program. I wanted to focus on either three full body workouts a week or during phase two, there was two training sessions for lower body and two training sessions for upper body upper, lower, upper, lower, equaling four workouts during that week for phase two. I wanted to make sure that you were choosing exercises that are going to give you all the benefit, the mechanical tension that you're looking for without the amazing drawbacks that come with a lot of other exercises. Am I saying these exercises are overall better than others? No. I'm saying they are very good. They are very effective at getting you what you want without the other drawbacks that come with some of the other exercises. For instance, I don't have deadlifts in, I've already talked about back squats. There's no back squat. The form, the, the learning curve is so high on both exercises, you're going to fucking hurt yourself. Even good deadlifters hurt themselves deadlifting. I still deadlift. I'm going to continue for the rest of my life, but things are different. And when it comes to me getting jacked and looking lean, 
It's not at the top of my priority list. I still squat sometimes. Just squatted uh, on Monday. I like to keep that pattern in there. And sometimes if I've, I've gotten to, to the need to use so much weight that if there's not a uh, leg press there or a hack squat at the gym I'm training at, I can't really do goblet squats and Bulgarian split squats, which I love. I'll do some walking lunges, but then I'll go back and I'll do some, some back squats, okay? Because I'm getting a tremendous amount of mechanical tension on my quads and my glutes and my hamstrings where I'm trying to train. But it's sketchy, and I don't want to take away from a huge population that may invest the money into my program because they don't know how to squat, and they're going to end up in the hospital. And I don't want to invest the time and effort into creating a program that everyone can't do. If you are a great deadlift, deadlifter and you are a great squatter, you will still do the Apex program and get all the benefit. You know why? Because I've included so many amazing exercises that aren't the deadlift and aren't the squat that create tremendous amounts of mechanical tension in the body parts that we want to train. I do not have the bench press. The barbell bench press is not a part of the Apex program. Sorry if that bums you out. Here's the deal. If you want to be a power lifter, you better fucking bench press. If you want to be a, a competitive power lifter, don't get my program. If you want to look better, you want your chest and your delts to look better and your triceps, here's the deal. All the exercises needed are included in this program. Dumbbell incline press, weighted dips, flat bench press with a dumbbell. Biomechanically, it's better for more people. I'm not saying the barbell bench press isn't good. It's a great exercise. I do it sometimes. Biomechanically, it's better for a larger swath of people. There's no one that isn't the dumbbell incline press isn't good for. There's zero people that that's not good for. There's zero people on earth that may potentially invest their money in this program that the Bulgarian split squat is not good for. There's zero people that the overhead press is not good for. There's zero people that chin ups is not good for. That is zero, okay? Zero. So, I'm not saying the bench press, the deadlift, the squat are bad. I'm not. I do them. I'm saying that there is a huge population that those exercises aren't good for. And I wanted to remove that. So here you go. Bulgarian split squats, walking lunges, hip thrusts, uh, rows of different forms, overhead pressing of different forms, lateral raises of different forms. And uh, you heard dumbbell incline and flat presses, dips, chins. That is pretty much it. That's the, the nuts and bolts of the program over all the different phases at different rep ranges, at different levels of intensity with different frequency, all to make it all amazing. There you go. That's how this works. That's the Apex program. Again, the link is in the show notes below. Boom. Now, I've got that out of the way. I want to talk about something that's been burning a hole inside of me for a while. It's Thanksgiving, right? As I record this, it's two days away. Thanksgiving Eve Eve. Fuck turkey. How do we end up with that? Every year, Thanksgiving rolls around, and the one thing I eat the least of is that shitty form of protein. The worst form of protein. Fuck turkey. How did we end up? Fuck. How did we end up with that? Every year, man. Why is it not Thanksgiving ribeye? Thanksgiving New York strip? Thanksgiving sea bass is better. Fuck turkey. Fuck you, turkeys. Eat shit, forefathers, for making that happen. Yeah, sure. Yeah, with mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, mashed potatoes and gravy on top of the gravy. Yeah, mashed potatoes and gravy makes everything better. Take away the gravy. Take away the mashed potatoes. You're stuck with that turkey, and you're like, ah, oh, shit. Shit. I wish this was not turkey. Man, we could get dark meat with the bone or something. Oh, fuck. Yeah, honey, I think that steakhouse is still open. Are they open on Thanksgiving? Come on, can we stop on the way home? Is there an in and out around here? Eat shit, turkey. Thank you. In this crazy mix-up world that makes you think that nobody cares, remember, I do be good. Bet Online is the world's most trusted source for sports betting and your number one spot for everything NFL football. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. Do you think you know your stuff? I bet you do. Get in on Bet Online's $200,000 Pick 5 contest. All you gotta do, pick 5 games against the spread to win your chance at many different prizes, and that $200,000 prize. Bet Online is the most trusted source for sports betting and your number one spot for everything football. Plus, when the game's over, 
Head on over to Bet Online for that online casino, blackjack, poker, and over 150 different slots. Head to the website today, get in on the action, Bet Online, where the game starts.